Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're on the cloud water. Way back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Saturday series. And today, we're having a cloud water. And this one is their happy birthday enhanced pail. Uh, it's a pale ale coming in at 3.5%, so it's a real good session uh, strength there. And it's to celebrate their eighth birthday this year, 2023, which was in February. Um, I'm drinking this a little bit later than February, and it's probably going on video a lot later than February. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, Cloudwater eighth happy birthday beer, and this is the enhanced pale. So, they do the core beers, and this is just uh, an enhanced version of that pale. So, let's get it in the glass, see what it looks like get the aroma and get the taste. So I do enjoy these lower ABVs. Like I said, I've had it loads of times, people just you know snubbed them, but honestly, the, brewery, the breweries can get lots of flavor in these low ABV beers. I'll just go to there so I can give it a swirl and we can give it a, a nice aroma and look. Okay, so opaque, nice lemony, not quite orange juice looking, but more lemon. Opaque for sure, nice white, proper white head there going on as well. Quite creamy, might dissipate, but it looks pretty good to me. Let's get the aroma. Ah. Lots of what you expect to be honest. Stone fruit, lime, peel, citrus. Definitely mango. Yeah, they're, they're the three big, so like it's like nice, soft, peachy stone fruits, mango, and a nice zingy citrus lime aroma. Okay, let's get the rest in the glass then. So we've got the the, uh, the cloud water glass. Don't know if a 440, I think this will do about a 440. Let's give it a swirl, put it all in. There we go. That looks great. Danker, punchier, and hoppier. That's what they claim on the can. So there you go. Full beer in the glass. Looking absolutely superb. Okay, cheers. It's got that signature cloud water about it. Honestly, I love that signature they've got with their yeast, their brain. You just know it's a cloud water. It's really, really refreshing. It's medium to light mouthfeel. It's not watery. It's not thin. It's just light but refreshing. Flavour coats. It really, really does coat. There's a slight pininess there. Real slight. But mainly, it's that tropical, that mango, sweet malt backbone with a passion fruit edge as well. And that z z citrus is just like it, like I say, it's like just tingling on the back of the tongue. It really, it, it's quite dry as well, so it makes you want to go back as well, which is super. It's a really easy drink. 3.5% you'd expect it. Easy, easy free bees because it's such a nice drink. 3.5%. Cloud water in Manchester, brewed in Manchester since 2015. I say danker, punchier and hoppier. Quality craft beer from Manchester. I don't think they're going to say too much more in the cans. I think they've pulled back now. They used to tell you the hops and stuff, but there's none of that anymore. No, nothing I can see on there anyway. Nothing at all. So it's just about cloud water. Um, yeah, cloud water. I can't even see if I always get stuck on these. Ah, there you go. Cloudwaterbrew.co. So go and check them out. Cloudwater. I think they do some super beers. They're one of my favourite breweries for sure. Easy drinking, 3.5%. Definitely sit down and session some of these, especially the warmer weather coming along. This video is probably out, it is warm weather, but I'm drinking this now and it's early April and it's just turning nice. Uh, but there you go, there's a can out. If you can still get hold of this while the video's out and you want something that's quite easy drinking, sit in the garden, just chill out, 
get lots of flavour, which it's got lots of. It's worth buying. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. And I'll see you in the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops.